Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Wilkesbury Area Girls Basketball. John Madola, Max Gregor, and our student broadcast crew tonight. And Max uh, expected Pitts area to come out firing tonight. Again, maybe the Wolfpack could match the energy here of the Lady Patriots. Yeah, we'll see. This is going to be a good one because uh, the Wolfpack, we haven't seen them too much, but they've been playing good at home a little bit, and they'll have their uh, hands full tonight with the Lady Patriots. Last time we saw them, a big win against Dallas. That is the Wolfpack. Daniela Rinelli will be the lady to stop tonight for Pitts and area. They will put on some full court pressure for head coach Jeff Gregory, who's all business over there with the suit and tie. Now a principal at Pitts and area. Outside shot by Keating, no go. So it is Krachenyuk wearing number 30 tonight. A little different, usually 24. And there is Ranelli going lights out. Just quarter thousand point. Three nothing PA. One minute into this beautiful transition basketball. Hannah McAfee from Robinson. I want to thank our friends at Saparito Falcone and Watt for helping us out tonight here and sponsoring the Pittston area Lady Patriots. PA goes inside. It's Going to stay right here. In 1946, attorney Joseph Saparito returned from World War II, started his law practice, and guess what? We are now 77 years later. Well, you know what? We added a year here. We're in 2024. It's now 78 years later. His legacy lives on. Sam Falcone, Bill Watt, Mara Armazani, and Joe Saparito III. Honest work, dedication to their clients, proven record of courtroom success. Saparito Falcone and Watt, Main Street, Pittston. Here is Emma Krachenyuk to the outside. Keating fired away for a three again. McAfee battling underneath. Great rebound from her. Three to two, Wolfpack trail. And also so far, uh, the Wolfpack have been doing a real nice job of breaking the, pest, uh, the press. A good combination of passing, and they're able to get the ball on their side of the court and get some good shots up. Grace Callahan is trying to guard McAfee. She's 5'8". And Pittston tried to give and go there with Maddie Karp. And then off the hands of number 21, Lily Hintze. So they go long ball here. It is Keating to McAfee. Had that other bucket, goes to the ground and rolls around a little bit. No travel yet, gets rid of it. But it is Pittston area and a foul on Krachenyuk. And that's happened a couple of times so far. The Wolfpack being able to break the press. They have a good opportunity to get a look, but just uh, unable to get it. So it is the Patriots in dark blue, the Wolfpack in white tonight here at home. And the Wolfpack will be back home on Thursday against Hazelton area. That mm -hmm. should be a, a good game. I mean, Hazelton area is a very good basketball team. Granted, beat them. Granted, maybe one of the best in northeastern Pennsylvania this year. They have expectations of playing for a state championship at 6A. Wow. They have two freshmen that are unbelievable. And then they have a really good supporting cast that are some upperclassmen. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, they're awesome. Abington Heights took them to the wire. They knocked off Scranton Prep in the line at tournament. And Diamond Thornton. Throwing it in, four to three, the Wolfpack lead. So, so far, the Wolfpack hanging in here. Here is Rinelli guarded by Robinson. What a quick burst there by Rinelli. We'll move that ball around. Hintzy, five, six, back to Rinelli. Outside, Bomberoni Ranelli again. The two, two Long Rangers. Yeah, it's the same spot, too, pretty much. Thornton. Crotchet yuck from beyond the arc. Off the rim, tries to hustle a rebound, but it is the Lady Patriots here first, 4.38 on the clock. Here in our student broadcast, live on the John Madola Show Network, it is the McCarthy Tire Game of the Night. Thank our friends at D's Diner open 24-7. They never close. Runner and a foul by Robinson. Good sportsmanship there by her as she was draped all over Ranelli. 
And you can see this Wolfpack defense very adamant about Gardner Grinnell. You can see all those defenders closing in on her. Now they're going to put Thornton on her. And, you know, part of that strategy is they don't want to get people in foul trouble, but let's try to just see what we can do to harass Rinelli. Here is Thornton. Got her own element of quickness and a high basketball IQ. McAfee, nice job of just kind of helping there. Outside shot, and there's a splash for a three. It was Zebnik. The Lady Patriots lighting it up on the, on the yard. Nine to four, three threes, 4.02 on the clock. We'll take a timeout. All right, back at it here. John Mandola and Max Greger, our student broadcast here on the John Mandola Show Network on YouTube. Appreciate you joining us. Lady Patriots, three threes against two buckets from the Wolfpack. Dale Rapson took a timeout, saying you got to play defense, got to get in their grill. Robinson running in just a little short, and she got stuffing, but it's off the Lady Patriots. The Wolfpack will have a throw in here with 3.41 to go. But what do you think? the message was from Coach Raps in there after that timeout, Max. I would say, I mean, I know it might be a little obvious, but guard the perimeter, because Lady Patriots, they're laying it up so far. And uh, just the transition offense, I feel like if the Wolfpack get that going, then they'll be right back in this thing. And you gotta be able to finish, right? I mean, you're oh, close, yeah. but like you're saying, in this type of game, those things will matter. It mattered against Dallas, and the Wolfpack were able to beat them by one. Runner, Ranelli, just a little short. Thornton comes up with it. She is the lady with the basketball who could do some damage. Here is Krachenyuk. going to run in, spins around, waits a second, throws a baseball pass over to Keating just off her hands. Like the idea there, there was nothing there. But, again, those little simple mistakes will cost you against a team like Pittston area. So, 40 comes into the lineup. That is Caitlin Chernowskis. And... 23, Ella O'Brien. Two fifty-six on the clock here in the first quarter. Pittston area and Rinelli. O'Brien, runner, short, go inside. What a rebound! That was actually Ella O'Brien. So it was Hincy took the shot, and Ella O'Brien coming up with a rebound, the junior. 11 to four. One thing about the Lady Patriots is they play in your face defense, Max. Oh yeah, whenever we've seen uh, possession like fully on this side of the court, Lady uh, Patriots have been all over them. So Thornton causes some contact there. It'll be the second team foul here on the Lady Patriots. She'll head over to the free throw line with 219 remaining here in the first. Eleven to six. So some free throws and a couple of shots for the Wolf Pack have kept them in this thing. But it is the Lady Patriots going through Daniela Rinelli. Patient with the ball. Jeff Gregory, he is a good coach at Pittston area. Try to go inside off the Wolfpack knees. It'll go back underneath. 
I think you could tell with this possession, we haven't seen Ronelli with the ball yet. The Lady Patriots, they're, they're really trying to get her the ball. Wolfpack doing a nice job of keying up on that. Ronelli bombs away. Lorraine didn't make it. And you got to die for that ball on the ground. You can't just run after it. That's got to be your ball. I'm sure that's something Coach Rapson's going to mention. They can't get all the balls on the ground and run wow. Nelly. <laughs> Circus shot. Very nice job by Ronelli. And uh, McAfee was in good position, too. It was just a beautiful take by Ronelli. Uh, it sounded like Coach Rapson there was saying the other team wants the ball more than the Wolfpack right now. He's just kind of spewing it out, <laughs> being pretty direct mm -hmm. with them. So you got to go get that ball. You want it. 14 6 now. And they mo uh, made the most of their opportunity there with the extra possession. Good block by PA. Rinelli finds the open young lady, goes back outside. They're looking around. They're finding open bodies with the basketball, moving that ball very well. 1 10 on the clock. So Jeff Gregory setting up the offense, wants the other guard on the opposite side to pull out a little bit to bring some ball pressure off of it. And then the ball's on the ground, and Robinson goes for it and gets it. That's got to make Coach Rapson a little bit happier that, you know, the Wolfpack went down on the ground to get the basketball. Yeah, yeah you talked about the Patriots. Uh you know, won the ball more, and we see that the Wolfpack, they're coming up as well. And there's been glimpses that we've seen of the Wolfpack where eh, we're not sure if they want it. Then against Dallas, they kind of turned it on and got really hungry. And again, they're high school kids. These things happen. You know, mm. it's, you know, sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're a little bit more pressed for, you know, opportunities. PA. Gets it back out to Rinelli. Everything goes through Daniela Rinelli right now. The guard who just could do a little bit of everything for the Lady Patriots. Move that ball around. Hintze back out. Rinelli, parking lot, style three. Score it. Ridiculous. Wow. That was far beyond the arc. 17 to 6 after one. Timeout. Quarter number two coming to McCarthy Tire game of the night. We'll be back. We are back here for the second quarter. I want to thank our friends at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt. In 1946, Attorney Joseph Saparito returned from World War II, started his law practice. 78 years later, his legacy lives on. Sam Falcone, Bill Watt, Mara Armazani, and Joe Saparito the third, continuing with the same principles. And there is a bucket for Pittston area. It is 
Caitlin Chernowskis, Saparito, Falcone, and Watt. Join them online at falconewattlaw.com. That's falconewattlaw.com. 7.25 on the clock, 19.6. Diamond Thornton to the rack, and that was a tweener and didn't go. It'll be PA ball. So this is the scary part, Max, is Pitsonary could open this thing up. Right now, 19-6 looks really good, and it gets scary. The Wolfpack have to try to get some. They're just not getting looks offensively. And not only that, but uh, Pitsonary is shooting lights out so far, so it's going to be uh, tough for them to keep up. A miss by Rinelli. But going the other way, they get the rebound. Another outside look and a splash. Hintzy. And that one, the result of a couple second chances, a couple offensive boards. 30 second timeout. Coach Rapson's going to the bench. So we had five new players in for the Wolfpack. And coach is just saying, okay, we got to try something. We got to get some hustle. And sometimes this works for you. Sometimes it doesn't. So we got a, a foul, not a travel here. Well, let's get to these players that are in. Max, uh, let us know who we got on the floor here for the Wolfpack. All right. So uh, we have number one, Asia Grady. Number 13, Lucheska Perez. Uh, number 14, Sonia Williams. 15, shooting free throws now, Tatiana Medina. And number 21, Emily Davison. Uh, fresh into the game. It is the McCarthy Tire game of the night. Thank our friends at D's Diner. Open 24-7. They never close. Max still waiting to get his chance to go there. Got to... We're gonna have to buzz. I'm gonna have to text Pops and let him know that you know you're you're up for some D's diner. Mm -hmm. There's a nice inside bucket by Williams, the freshman. Sanaya. So a nice job by Sanaya. Get hey, you get a couple points. 22 to 8. Outside shot isn't there. It goes off. Pitts there, you're going the other way. Yeah, maybe the whole uh, lineup change will give the Wolfpack a little momentum. You try something, you know, you try some different things. I mean, Dale Rapson, he's not a head coach long, just this season, but he has been a coach for a long time in the Wilkesbury area school district between boys and girls. Well, this team moving the basketball around. Now the JV game went Pittston area's way today. There's a take to the bucket. No foul called. Perez. They go up court. It is Ranelli. You got to guard her. Nobody could guard her in the first part of the game. 22 to 8. She gets fouled. 544 on the clock. It's the McCarthy Tire game of the night. McCarthy Tire located on 340 Kidder Street in Wilkesbury. They're open tomorrow, 7:30 until 5:30. You're thinking, eh, you know, tire change, winter tires. Now's the time. We're going to get some winter weather tomorrow for a little bit. Then it's going to turn to rain. And then we'll all be floating on the water on the roads because a couple inches of rain coming. Lots of wind tomorrow, too. You're hoping for uh, maybe a little delay. That would be nice. <laughs> you keep hoping. <laughs> Free throw goes. It is 24 to 8. Williams, the freshman. Well, Pack have to get the possession here and move the ball around. 
Not sure how much longer Coach Rapson's going to stay with his crew, but right now, you know, he's trying it. Seeing how long it'll fire up his group sitting on the bench right now. One team foul apiece. Now changes by quarter. Inbound to Grady. Back over to Williams, the freshman. Guarded closely. They kick it out. Drive it to the bucket. She drove before. Not able to make it, but nice muscle there by 13, Perez. So not backing down. Yeah, that was a nice uh, position by the Wolfpack. Just Askinson able to fall. Here is Williams. Guarded closely. Back over to the other side. Girls look organized here for the Wolfpack. Oh, there's a travel, but you know, they look like they're ready to go. And here comes the five starters for the Wolfpack. Back in. And these guys, after sitting for a couple of minutes, you know they're they're probably motivated and ready to go. Yeah, you get a little salty. You know, if you're a player, you get pulled. You know, like, eh, why they pull me? I get it. Like, you know, that's that's normal. You know, anybody on any team, it doesn't feel good. But somewhere there's got to be a, a little fire switch that says, hey, you know, we got to play a little harder. We got to play a little better. We're better than this. Looks like we got a new match by Nelly. Looks like Robinson's on her. Yeah, so they'll go back to her on Ranelli. Challenge Robinson. And Robinson comes up with the basketball. So no numbers here for Robinson. She's going to try to split them. But it was pretty much a one on three. And now Ranelli will push the pace. Gives it up. And crutching you with some stuffings. So that went to number 20, Rowan Lezeb. Lebeznik. Lezebnik, that is. Four fifteen on the clock, twenty four to eight PA over <coughs> Wilkesbury area, WBA. It'll be Wolfpack basketball. So Krochenyuk maybe had a look or two. She would have to start to get hot. But Diamond Thornton would also have to finish at the rim for the Wolfpack for some success. Yeah, we always say Diamond Thornton has that ability. But there's McAfee with a nice basket. McAfee's finished twice for the Wolfpack. That's a huge, huge thing for them. Having somebody at the basket that could finish. She's finished two tonight, so coming along here. Gordon, get it out of here. 24 10. Wolfpack doing a nice job of uh, getting those passes out of there from uh, below the basket. Three nineteen on the clock here. Comes back out to Hinsey. Now to Ranelli. Almost a steal by Robinson. Somebody's going to have to help. It's McAfee. She does a good job over there to help, but then they leave Ranelli for a half a second. Misses that one. It's going the other way. A foul on the Lady Patriots with 2.54 to go. Brian comes back in here on the McCarthy Tire game of the night. Thank our friends at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt supporting us tonight. Thornton got stuffed. A good defensive play by O'Brien. 
that's really been the story so far. Wolfpack, good passes, setting up good looks, but that uh, Lady Patriot defense is playing real good tonight. 228 here in the first half. Crouchinger comes out to guard Rinelli. She goes back to her girl underneath. Keating, nice job of cutting that off. 30 second timeout. Here's Jeff Gregory, 216 on the clock. McCarthy, tire game of the night. We'll be back. We're back at it here at Wilkes-Barre area. After the timeout, Pittston area, runner. And boy, Lily Hintzy showing some signs of good stuff here. Jumper, no go. Keating goes to try for that with 140 here in the first half. Good defense here by the Wolfpack. I think that they woke up a little bit here. I mean, it is 26 to 10, but I think you're seeing just a little bit more hustle. And we'll see. Uh Again, with the no shot clock, we'll see what the Lady Patriots do. A minute uh, 10 left. If they dribble this out, or uh, plan on putting some more points on the board. I would just do what Pitts and Area is doing. L wait for a good shot here. You're up 16. Mm -hmm. You got no rush. They don't want to give the Wolfpack any momentum going into halftime. Off balance shot. And Thornton stays here. Say there's a foot dragger there by Lazebnik. Want to thank our friends at Saparito Falcone in Watt. They started in 1946. 78 years later, Sam Falcone, Bill Watt, Mar Armazani, and Joe Saparito the third, continuing the tradition, honest work, dedication to their clients, and a proven record of courtroom success. 48 South Main Street in Pittston, FalconeWattLaw.com. We'll pack it in 32 seconds. Keating can't get the roll. Fourteen seconds, Coach Gregory yelling patience. They're all over Ranelli. Robinson. Ranelli, parking lot off the front of the rim. Pittston has it. Clock's gonna run out. 26-10, halftime score. McCarthy tired game of the night. Student broadcast will be back.
All right, quarter number three. Wolfpack, Thornton, jumper off the front of the rim. Get it to Rinelli. John Madola and Max Greger, our student broadcast here at the John Madola Show Network. It is the McCarthy Tire Game of the Night. We thank our friends at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt for supporting the Lady Patriots tonight. Rinelli looks around. Way off the mark there is Pittston area. And we saw with that, uh, that last Wolfpack possession, a real quick shot. And I think that might be kind of what the Wolfpack needs. Like, uh, we remember, uh, like, last year, a lot of their identity was focused around that fast-paced offense. I feel like they got to start getting more looks like that. So two off the front of the rim for Thornton. Might want to see her drive to the basket to create for points. Down 16. Pits an area very patient for Jeff Gregory. And did uh, it usually be easy uh, if you're being up so much to just fire up bad shots, you know, wanting some extra points, but Lady Patriots very patient. Second chance. No, it is crutching your with the basketball. Crotching your elbow. That's off the mark. So the outside shot right now not falling for Wilkes Bear area. 621 here in the third. Thank our friends at Green Valley Landscaping. Sharper Image. Need some t-shirts? Give our friends at Sharper Image and Swarters a call. And detailed assets on River Street in Plains. Great job with car detailing. A little confusion there with Rinelli and her teammate. Bounce pass, balls on the floor, and two Wolfpack players go for it. It'll stay right here with the tie-up. So 40 will get back in here, Caitlin Chernowskis. She's a senior. Excuse me, her and her sister here on this roster. Outside jumper, Lily Hensey, 10th grader. That's a long two there. Thought they had the arms up. 28-10. Krochenyuk looks, has McAfee. Keating. They skip pass over to Robinson. Robinson to the bucket. Hit that front of the rim. Thornton stealing. Diamond Thornton offensive going the other way. That's the tough part is you want Thornton to drive, but then she causes a little contact there, and they call the foul. I feel like uh, out of that drive, so many defenders uh, collapse on her. Maybe we'll see uh, in the future her dish it out to uh, an open teammate if there's one. Thornton will come out. And they bring in 13, Perez. Open shot and a goodie. Hence he's playing well. 30 to 10, 20 point advantage here for Pittston area. Here's Robinson to the rack and just a tweener. McAfee gets fouled. So it seems like Hannah McAfee trying to step up tonight, having an inside presence. They're down 20, but she's hit a couple of buckets. She's trying. And it's just been uh, just an off night for the Wolf Pack. I mean, they're putting up shots. Like, uh, they're getting off, like, pretty decent shots. They're just not going in, and they are for the Lady Patriots. There's a roll from McAfee that rims out. So 23, L.O. Bryan comes back in. And is rebounded by Matty Carp. Oh. 
Outside, shot for P.A. Score it. Chernowskis. 33 to 10, a 23 point advantage for Pittston area here on the McCarthy Tire game of the night. Keating outside, look, a little long, tipped out, and just the ball bouncing Pittston area's way. And off of Krachenyuk as Ranelli Inside, outside. Ranelli, three. Splash. And it's crazy. It seems like every time the Patriots are semi-open, they're making the shot. They're getting good looks at the bucket. There's no doubt about it. And they're knocking them down. It is a long night here for the Wolfpack down 26. 3.34 on the clock. You just don't know who to turn to right now because, you know, they're just a play away here or there. Robinson and one. So a highlight here for the Wolfpack of getting a bucket and getting to the free throw line. And that's something the Wolfpack need, uh, an and one to kind of get going a little bit. So this third corner counting down, large advantage. Pittston area. McAfee battling. Unable to get it. And Carp comes up with it and gets it over to Rinelli. 3.12 on the clock. Rinelli left wide open on that opposite side for the three. No go. McAfee, nice rebound. And now crutching you under three to go. Drive the runner hard off the glass. Perez comes up with a rebound, kicks it back out. Robinson had a wide open McAfee there for a second. She gets the rebound high off the glass. That one doesn't go. Battle underneath. Thirty-six, twelve, two twenty-three on the clock. Krachenyuk downtown. Thank our friends at Saparito Falcone in Watt. Sam Falcone, Bill Watt. Mara Armazani and Joe Saparito III. Continuing with honest work, dedication to the clients, and a record of courtroom success. Check them out at falconewattlaw.com. Rebe again. That's a couple of this half from uh, Chernowskis. 39 to 12. Around the corner, here is Keating. Skipper over to Robinson. And she gets fouled going to the basket. 138. And you gotta appreciate what Robinson's trying to do, trying to take matters into her own, uh, own hands. Trying to get some points on the board for the Wolfpack. Thank our friends at D's Diner. They're open 24-7, 365, never close. D's Diner, a proud sponsor here on the John Mandola Show Network, Wilkes-Barre Area Basketball. They light up that scoreboard there at the scorer's table. And Pittston area, Jeff Gregory milked us out here with 39-12, one shot. Yeah, it looks like that's what the Patriots will do. Ball knocked up in the air by Perez. One seventeen and one quarter remaining here at Wilkes-Barre area. So the Lady Patriots came to play tonight and are doing everything they can to continue with a one-sided ball game tonight. Max Greger and John Mandola here in our student broadcast. 
And that was a high arcing banker. Didn't make it. Matty Carp didn't get the roll. Still bounces pits his way. That's just everything going the Lady Patriots way. But they're hustling for balls too. Some of that luck you're creating. Yeah, and they're they're really making the most, uh, making their shots. And we see another second chance. Ranelli. Heck of a basketball player for the Lady Patriots, 42 to 12, 30 point advantage here. 20 seconds on the clock here in the third. I think that's like four threes we saw from Ranelli tonight. Yeah, she's lighting it up. Back over to Krochenyuk. Robinson long two, that's off. 42 12, McCarthy Tire Game of the Night will be back. All right, we're back for the fourth quarter, 42 to 12. We'll pack getting some subs in. And this group certainly held their own the last time they were in the game. Yeah, they're moving the ball around, looking for good looks here. Going to be an over the back going the other way. Nelly, Chernoskis. Thank our friends at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt. Located at 48 Main Street in Pittston. Sam Falcone, Bill Watt, Mara Armazani, and Joe Saparito III. Continuing at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt. Started back in 1946. It's an incredible legacy. Williams. Little backyard basketball trying it on her own. Didn't get it to go, but you got to like the effort by Saniah Williams. 632, Jeff Gregory saying he wants a little high low. And now we'll get some other players in here for Pittston area. Rinelli switched hands on the way to the basket. And she gets fouled, she'll go to the free throw line. 30 point advantage. Free throw goes. Max, any thoughts here that you have for the Wolf Pack at this point? Well, I'd say this is a good opportunity for these guys in the game right now to kind of earn a roster spot. Because with the boys, we talk about how they have uh, a great amount of depth on their roster. Uh, with this girls, we don't have as much depth. So a good audition to kind of put their names in the mix to get some um, 
more time in the future. Bella DeSoy in the lineup here for Pittston area. So we got a bunch of different players in there. Haley Pointick is in the lineup. Abigail Chernovskis wears 42, her sister out there. And a little body contact. Juliana Latona. And Pitt Scenario bring the ball down here at 527. 44 to 12 is the count. Three team fouls for the Wolfpack, one for the Lady Patriots. It's the McCarthy Tire game of the night. Thank her friend, Dr. Todd. Located on Wyoming Avenue in 44th. Battle on the ground there. Pitts and area comes up with it. They'll get over to number one, Nora Callahan. Outside shot, going to be short. And to go in the other way. That's pretty neat. You can see uh, the Lady Patriot offense here kind of come from the same tree as uh, you know, the ones we saw in the varsity game. Uh, a couple of crisp passes. Just shot able to fall there for them. So the Wolfpack moving the basketball around. No travel call there. Trenauskas gets the basketball and then a quick couple passes and it goes out of bounds. So the clock moving with a 44 to 12 score. We'll be back Thursday, Hazel Tenary in town. More of the same, you're gonna get a high powered team that Joe Gavio, good coach, and you know, Wolfpacker are gonna have to come prepared. It's not easy coming off a loss like this tonight. And what, you know, what you're gonna have to do Thursday. And this is a good opportunity for the the Wolfpack's kind of prepare for that game. Yeah, I mean, you got to punch the clock and see what you could do. Pitts in area, moving the ball around. Long two there, didn't make it, box out. And come up is Grady. Grady, Grady with a runner there <laughs> off the glass, didn't make it. It'll get over to 12. Bella DeSoy, and we get a foul here. 304 and moving. More ball movement outside, look, missed everything. Good hustle, 233. So Max, we'll be wrapping this up soon. Your impressions of Pitts and area tonight? I mean, they were shooting lights out tonight. Was, uh, especially uh, Daniela Ranelli. Bunch of threes, couple of twos as well. And, I mean, whenever they weren't making shots, they were doing a good job of getting offensive boards, creating some more shots. So, I mean, this uh, Lady Patriot offense, it'll be tough to stop in the future. Rinelli's the total package. I mean, she could she could dribble the basketball, she could play defense, she could shoot the basketball, and she shows leadership qualities here in her junior season for Pittston area. And also, a good uh, supporting cast. We had uh, Lily Hintze had a nice game, and Caitlin Chernowskis, and... And everybody on the Wolf, uh, or Lady Patriots rather, contributing for a nice team win. Buck 54 remaining. 44 to 13 is the score. Chernovskis, it got blocked. It's going to stay right here as the official. Says a little contact there. PA will get it in for Jeff Gregory, who never stops coaching. Doesn't matter who's in the game. He wants to coach him up. That's his style. Williams kicks it out.
Outside shot there is going to be short. Bounce around. Davison comes up with it. She kicks it out. And PA comes up with it. So a nice job by Poitick to get the basketball. Under a minute to go. 44-13. One more time. Chernowskis doesn't get the roll on that one. And the rebound here from the Wolfpack. So that was 31. Nevaeh Derek. Coming down the other way here from Pittston area. Thank our friends at Saparito, Falcone, and Watt. 1946 is when they started. Missed by the Lady Patriots. 78 years later, they're still going. Sam Falcone, Bill Watt, Mar Armazani, and Joe Saparito III. General law practice serving all your legal needs. Located at 48 South Main Street in Pittston. FalconeWattLaw.com. Give them a call. 570-654-4643. Ten seconds remaining. 44 to 13 for Max Greger. I'm John Mandola. We appreciate you joining us here on the student broadcast on the John Mandola Show Network. Have a good night, everybody.